don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football as usual. I am your host Selassie Fiawe. Today we're going to talk about local football here. Kumasi Asante Kotoko, you all know their major sponsors are MTN everywhere you go. They have pulled the plug on financial obligations to Kumasi Asante Kotoko because of the impact of COVID-19 on their finances. More details coming up today. Also, we're going to talk about Accra Hat to Folk on the verge of an amazing deal with Casa Freco. And also, Accra Hat to Folk have reported as much that they have not signed. I repeat, they have not signed Suli Ali Montaris. Contrary to reports that made the rounds that Accra Hat to Folk have signed Suli Ali Montari, they came out on their Twitter handle to admit as much that they will have not signed the Ghanaian veteran who has retired from international football more or less and is looking to hang up his boots by playing for the Accra based side. To join, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, I'll start off from the camp of Accra Hearts of Folk. Now, Accra Hearts of Folk, as I brought you in my live stream, were thinking about signing Suli Alu Montari. Now, Montari had offered himself as much. He's in the country currently and looking to end his career by playing for a local club. And the reports that came in on Friday suggested that Accra Hearts of Folk was the destination for the former Ghanaian prolific midfielder, General Sule Ali Montari. Events in 2014 at World Cup led to Sule being suspended indefinitely along with Kevin Prince Boateng from the Ghana Black Stars because of some misconduct that was deemed disrespectful. Sule Montari has apologized since being advised to, but unfortunately, none of the coaches have called him back. CK Akono probably, but I doubt Sule Ali Montari is in the twilight of his career far from his peak years with AC Milan in Milan where he won a Champions League title AC Milan where he won a Serie A title and in Milan as well so Sule Ali Montari reports indicated that he was going to join the Phobians Accra had to folk but later on on Friday night Accra had to folk came out to debunk those rumors this is what was tweeted on their handle once a crowd of folk wants to notify the general public that we have not signed Ghanaian international Sule Montari as is being reported by the media. Sule is a great player and a friend to the club. We will continue to unveil the players we have signed. Accra Hearts of Hope is a premier club in Ghana and will continue to set the standards. We therefore urge our supporters not to rely on information unless it comes from our official handles. So caution there to anyone reporting. I heard I saw so many reports. Sule Montari signs for Accra Hearts of Hope. Sule Montari signs for Accra Hearts of Hope. He has not signed. It's from the official Twitter handle of Accra Hearts of Hope. He has not signed for them. So those rumors, those reports are all false. Should Sule Ali Montari sign for them eventually, it will be on this handle. Probably they want to control the narrative as we have seen Kumasi Asante Kotoko and other local clubs doing recent times, especially Kotoko. When they were signing on Maxo Konedu, they denied it vehemently. But eventually it was revealed that they were signing him. And probably this is what they want to do with Sule Montari signing. You never know, your guess is as good as mine. Let's wait to, for the official announcement. But right now, Sulia Montari to Accra to Folk is still a rumor. Nothing put on paper. No, nothing signed between the two parties. And we are waiting for that eventually. It will be great for Accra to Folk, obviously. But until then, he is not an Accra to Folk a player. To my next story, sticking with Accra to Folk. They are on the verge of signing a great deal with Spintex based company that is Casa Preco. Now, Heart of Oak are on the verge of signing a bumper deal with Casa Preco Company Limited. According to media reports that suggest that the official of the Rainbow Club are in advance a discussion with the nation's leading beverage and alcoholic drinks manufacturing company over lucrative sponsorship deals. 
Now the partnership with the Phobians would include them being their club's official water sponsor with their product a week purified drinking water. Accra Heart of Folk could be used in packaging the awake pre water bottle and other products of the company that would be beneficial to both parties. The club currently has Goal and Star Life Assurance at its main fuel and insurance parties with home as the official kit sponsor of Accra Heart of Folk recently signed on. That's great, 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 great news coming there from the camp of Accra Heart of Folk should they sign on to this amazing deal it will prove to be a bumper deal for them let's see what happens in the coming days i'll be updating you as and when i get more information on this front guys so Accra has to hope possibly could be partnering with casa Preco company limited let's see what happens in the coming days so my next story has to do with the porcupine warriors Kumasi Asante Kotoko Ukuma Pema Pemeba We all know the times we are in Coronavirus has plagued the world COVID-19 as it is officially called And because of that the revenue of so many airline companies and telecommunications companies including MTN reportedly are being plummeted The revenue sources are not as much as they used to be And because of that MTN have decided that they will curtail for now the financial obligations agreed in the sponsorship deals with Kumase Asante Koto. So MTN has been a sponsor of uh, the Porcupine Warriors for a while now, with club football also being halted and nothing ongoing for the Porcupines in Ghana here and anywhere else in Africa. The MTN have decided that they will curtail and put a plug as essentially they said they will put a plug on their financial obligations to the porcupine warriors asante kotoko have revealed that their sponsors main sponsors mtn will freeze their monthly financial obligations to the team from this month due to revenue stresses caused by the covid 19 pandemic now the various industries have been hit hard by the pandemic and revenues and profits have been affected by the fact that some entities have failed to make money due to the lack of activities and accessories that rake in money. Kotoko, their spokesperson Kennedy Boachiansa confirmed it to City Sports in an interview that MTN had told them that in the later development that the club fully understand the circumstances leading to the decision by MTN. This is what Kennedy said. We have received a letter from MTN informing us that because of the COVID-19 pandemic, they are holding on to the financial obligations to the club until after we have overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. We know that it's difficult for everybody and MTN is no exception. So officially, we have been notified of this. Due to the suspension of the financial obligations, Kotoko will lose an amount of 70,000 Ghana cities a month that MTN used to give them and the club and mtn have been partners since 2011 the newest turn of events is the first major disruption in their relationship a huge chunk of money that the porcupine warriors will be without for a while how long this covid 19 pandemic will continue is anyone's guess but right now lockdown is over commercial activities have returned to sort of normalcy here in ghana everyone has to have their nose masks on as i have here everyone has to have a nose mask on when interacting with people in town else you will not be allowed in public places like the mall or anywhere else so get your mask wherever you are going it will prevent the spread of the virus in case you are sick <coughs> it won't affect anyone else get your mask and save a life mtn unfortunately have pulled the plug on financial obligations to kumasi asante kotoko it's quite unfortunate but these are the times we are in so that has been it for today guys i've been talking to you about kumasi asante kotoko mtn has pulled the plug on their financial obligations to them also Accra Hata folk have not signed Sulali Montari as reports were being purported by the media on Friday and they could be close to a major deal with Casa Preco Company Limited. I'll see you guys in the next one.
enjoy your day.